Hey, what's up, everybody? Once again, I'm in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm at Sprouts Market. It's right behind me, and I'm reviewing source water from Wales and Alka True water. This is a one gallon alkaline water with a, a nine or 10 pH level in this really big one gallon container. We're gonna compare these two and decide which one I think tastes the best. So the source water is from Wales. This is over 800 years old. It says since 1180. I don't think they've been wad I don't think they've been bottling it that long, but I think that's when they discovered the source of the water. And so it's like it's really old and uh, they've been drinking it for a long time. And so let's open it up and do a comparison. It's in a nice glass bottle. It looks like a bottle of vodka or something. It looks like I'm publicly drinking or something. But it's a good quality bottle. Metal lid. It's got a high mineral count. Um, I don't. I, I, I didn't read that on the bottle. I can just tell. It's got a high uh, total dissolved solids. It's a lot of minerals. It says there's calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, sulfurous, bicarbonate, and it's it's a cool bottle. Like it's a really simple logo. It's also got the classic, you know, animal emblem on it. Good. It's different, you know. If you like, if you like a bottle with a high TDS, you'd probably really like this. It doesn't mention a pH level. Sorry about the sound. I'm, I'm really literally. Sorry about the noise. I'm literally in their parking lot, so I, I'm gonna pick the winner and then go in and probably buy more of it. And so. This has a high TDS level. And let's try the Alka True Water. This doesn't say much about it on the label and I haven't had time to really research this much. But this reminds me a lot of the Trader Joe's one gallon container because it has the, the handle on it. It doesn't say much else about it on the bottle. Just mainly the main focus is just the high pH level. Tastes a little colder, which doesn't really make sense because it's from the same store, from the same aisle. A little bit more pure and clean. This one clearly has a lower TDS level. It's got the big lid. It's probably not, not made to be drank out of straight. You're probably meant to uh, pour this big one in a glass. But I really like the taste of this one. This one's really good. Yeah, they, uh, they're trying to save you time with the Alka True and save, save money on the font and the, the ink. Instead of putting an E at the end, they misspell both words, Alka and True. The label's kind of hard to read just because of the distortion from the, the bottle and just the way they printed it on here. So it's kind of hard to even see what it says, but it says it's filtered with reverse osmosis. And, um, I'm gonna say that the winner is the Alka True. I think this one has a cooler bottle, but I think the Alka True has a better flavor, and uh, that's what I'm picking the winner on. So, congratulations, Alka True. Thanks for watching, everyone.